Hello, gorgeous soul. Welcome to your weekly astrology. And it's an important one as we have a full moon in mystical, magical Pisces. On top of that, we have a grand earth trine, which is bursting with potential. Here's your weekly astrology. Gemini, this week it's all about commitment. The Grand Earth Trine is saying to you, right, what makes you feel secure? How are you going to manifest your power and your intuition and your path in a grounded way? How can you bring all that together? There may be something significant happening around your home or connected to your family or an intuitive revelation that allows you to feel safe. In fact, I'll ask you the question. How safe do you feel in the world? Where do you get your security from? Does it come from within you? Or does it depend on external factors? It's time to commit to you and your dream this week. And not only with the Grand Earth Trine, help you ground it, show you an intuitive insight and bring about a shift or an understanding about where you should live and your connection to your family. That's a lot, isn't it? <laughs> it will also... Thanks to a very quick kite, give you a boost in those directions. The full moon itself is in your career zone and it's sextiling Saturn and Uranus is involved and that whole energy of that grounded um, vibe is about you finding where you want to be and how you want to do it and how you're going to do it. But also, it's uh, uh, out of the blue insight should come to show you the way. All magical synchronicity, strange surprise around the time of the full moon, which you just go, wow, that is the missing piece. That is the bit that I have been looking for. So do meditate, trust your intuition. You'll be grounded. You'll have the opportunity to recharge your batteries. Um, you'll understand. In fact, there may be a peak career experience because it is a full moon, but also you might be feeling very emotional. If things aren't going very well for you when it comes to your career, or you know, you interpret it that way, then you may be very emotional about your career. But ultimately, there will be a sign by the end of the week about what you can do about that. There may be a rethink, there may be an opportunity, but something is coming your way that will clarify that. And you are recharging and you are being thrust towards success. It may be a, a, a slower pace than you would like. Don't forget, we've still got all the retrogrades going on. But I would say, hopefully by next month, you're going to see some positive shifts. Be a little bit careful on the 26th also, the full moon, uh, which is emotional anyway, because we have Venus square Pluto. And that's in your love and lust sector could be your creativity sector but it may be that you're bringing about some changes or you may find yourself a little bit obsessional about something so have an awareness of that venus uh, square pluto on that day if you get too heightened in your emotions ground yourself take care gorgeous and i'll speak to you soon Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. Horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.